Hello, this is Ms. Korzenewski from PS11. In this lesson, you will learn how to subtract three-digit numbers by using expanded form. Expanded form is a great strategy because it allows us to use our understanding of place value to subtract numbers. When we use expanded form, we show the value of each digit. Let's take a look at the equation 237 minus 125. Make sure you line up the numbers so that the numbers in the hundreds, tens, and ones place are lined up with each other. Now we are going to expand each number by showing the value of each digit. We'll start with 237. Since the number 2 is in the hundreds place, its value is 2 hundreds, or 200. Since the number 3 is in the tens place, its value is 3 tens, or 30. The number 7 is in the 1's place, so its value is 7 1's, or 7. Even though this is a subtraction problem, we need to add these numbers together, because 200 plus 30 plus 7 equals 237. We will subtract later once we have expanded both numbers. Now we will expand the second number, 125. The 1 is in the 100's place, so its value is 100. The 2 is in the tens place, so its value is 2 tens, or 20. And the 5 is in the ones place, so its value is 5 ones, or 5. We expanded 125 into 100 plus 20 plus 5. Now we are going to subtract. Starting in the ones place, 7 minus 5 equals 2. 30 minus 20 equals 10, and 200 minus 100 equals 100. Then we add the hundreds, tens, and ones place back together to find the total. 100 plus 10 plus 2 equals 112. Now that you know how to use expanded form to subtract a three-digit number, we will try another problem in which we have to regroup. Again, we will start by expanding each number by showing the value of the digits. We'll start with 453. 4 is in the hundreds place, so its value is 4 hundreds, or 400. 5 is in the tens place, so its value is 5 tens, or 50. 3 is in the ones place, so its value is 3 ones, or 3. Next, we expand 238 into 200 plus 30 plus 8. We always start subtracting in the ones place, so we need to solve 3 minus 8. Because 3 is less than 8, we can't solve this problem, so we need to borrow from the tens. We can subtract a 10 from 50, and we are left with 40 in the tens place. Then we can add that 10 to the 3 that we had in the ones place, and now we have 13 in the ones place. Let's try 13 minus 8. That works. Our answer is 5. Next, we go to the tens place. Don't forget that we subtracted a 10, so we're left with 40 minus 30, which is 10. Finally, we subtract 400 minus 200, and our answer is 200. Then, we add the hundreds, tens, and ones back together to find the answer. 200 plus 10 plus 5 equals 215. In this video, I demonstrated how to solve subtraction equations by using expanded form. We expanded each number into its place value to help us subtract.